Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew and this is Let's Talk Tools. Today we're going to be making some wooden coasters, taking you along through the process of how I made these. This is actually going to be a pretty quick video, hopefully, and um, it's pretty straightforward making these coasters. It was an easy project and it, you can be done in a matter of, I don't know, a few hours from start to end. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, as you can see, first we're going to get the table saw set up. I'm going to be making these coasters uh, three and a half by three and a half inch. And to do that, I have this scrap piece of, I believe it was one by six. So I'm going to be measuring three and a half inches and we're going to be cutting it down. And then once we cut it down to three and a half inches, I'll get out that miter gauge and I'm just going to cut these into three and a half inch segments. So after we get these three and a half inch squares made, we are now going to set up the saw so we can cut this down right down the middle. Now, I'm pretty sure there are all other ways of doing this, but what I found best was I set up the fence to cut down the middle of these segments and then I lowered the blade to just under the halfway point of this three and a half piece of wood. The reason I do that is because when I push the wood through, it'll cut one segment and then I'll flip the board over and then cut through that way. So then all you have left is a small, maybe one eighth inch portion of wood in between the, coast the two coasters. So then all you have to do is you can just take your flush cut saw and cut those right down the middle and now you have two coasters. So of course after you do this you're going to want to get your sander. I use 80 grit sandpaper for this first part just because uh, there was a little bit of leftover material in the middle from where I cut with the flush cut saw. So that 80 grit just takes it down a little quick and we're able to then move on to 220 to get a final finish on this and 220 is about as high as we go um, you can get away with 120 220 is just kind of our preference and as you can see here um, on i believe it was the second coaster i was sanding down i let my finger get a little too close to that uh, to the sander and it uh, took a piece of my thumb so it is important you pay attention to what's what's going on around you i was trying to have a conversation and send these pieces down so i wasn't really paying attention to what i was doing and then ended up uh, injuring myself so i did have to leave get a bandage just because i could not really stop the bleeding uh very quickly learn from my mistakes and you know safety first make sure you are you're taking the proper precautions to avoid injuries while working on this project and that does also just go to show that i am not a professional i mean i make mistakes just like anyone else would and maybe you can learn from my mistakes and you don't have to hurt yourself all right so once we get these pieces sanded down um, just make sure you sand the edges kind of round them over a little bit you don't have to do them too much um, just because uh, if you don't round them over you do run the risk of some splintering at the edges um, if the coasters get dropped or they get bumped you do want to just sand those over a little bit just so they are a little rounded you don't run the risk of someone picking them up I don't know incorrectly and maybe getting some kind of splinter go ahead and make sure you sand the edges at this point after all the edges have been sanded the coast you basically have finished coasters you now have I mean I guess you can say you have now blank coasters so from this point forward what I'm going to do is we're gonna be burning them now when I go to burn these coasters I am just gonna be I have a uh, propane torch and uh, we'll just do some even passes over the coasters just so that way you you get that darkening of the wood now you don't want to hold it in any one particular place for too long just because you'll get uneven uneven burning across the wood uh, even passes steady passes don't hold it on any one one space for too long and you'll get a nice finish on this uh, the correct name for wood this uh, form of wood burning is I believe Sosugiban or Sosugiban and it is actually a Japanese uh, form of art now I don't I'm not completely educated in the actual art of this um, Japanese style of wood burning 
so I wouldn't say that I am, am going to be performing Shoshugiban, but I am burning this wood to give it a nicer look. And after I have gone through and burned the fronts, the backs, and then all the edges of the coasters, I am then going to go over to a water faucet, a sink, anywhere you can, uh, any kind of water source really, and I'm going to rinse, uh, wash off some of the excess um, char off the wood. Um, and that is just so that way we can end up with this finish or this look in the final product. Now to get some of this extra um, char off the coasters, I do have a, I believe it was a nylon bristle brush or it might be a brass bristle brush and I'm just going to scrub these lightly and it's going to take off the excess uh, char and then it'll leave behind some uh, darker spots and then some lighter spots as well so that uh, transition of the two shades on the actual grain of the wood it just gives that nice look to it when you are scrubbing these you don't want to scrub against the grain just because you can end up with uh, some surface scratches that are going to be visible so uh, scrub this with the grain and like i said you don't have to do this too hard you don't have to do this too long it's just to get a small amount of the excess off so that way you're also not really going to be having any of it come off on your fingers after you have finished this, uh, finished the coasters. Once we get all the excess char off of the coasters, uh, the final step in this process is going to be two to three coats of polyurethane. So I'm using a spray, spray can of polyurethane and I just found this to be the most quickest and most effective rather than having to uh, get the can of polyurethane and then get a brush and uh, brush this on evenly you can get a nice even coating at least I feel using the spray polyurethane so once you've got um, two to three layers on each uh, two to three coats on each side you just kind of let these uh, let these cure I believe the can uh, on at least my particular can said uh, full cure time was going to be about two to three hours so I sprayed both uh, both sides of these and then all the edges and then let them sit for the designated amount of time and as you can see here now we have some uh, really great looking coasters and it didn't take much much time at all to do these um, so like I said you can batch out quite a bit of these coasters in a matter of hours Hopefully uh, you took something from this video and hopefully now you can go out and try making these coasters on your own. If you all have any questions or anything, please feel free to ask me down in the comments below. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing it and I look forward to making some more of them. Now if this kind of video is something that you all enjoyed, um, I just ask that you like the video down below and while you're down there, uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that way you're notified the next time I upload new videos. And. We'll see y'all in the next one.